Okay, here we are. Are we ready to get rolling, everybody? Let's see. Microphones are on. Music's playing. And. Hello, everybody! My name is Michael Murkowski. Welcome to my studio, still under construction, but that's because I've been out of town for the past couple of weeks with my family, visiting family out in Calgary, Alberta, and uh, it was really amazing to break up the, um, the routine a little bit by getting out of the city for a short period of time and uh, do, doing a socially distanced vacation, I guess. Um, so still within our bubble, but hanging out with uh, my parents who um, were more overjoyed to hang out with our uh, almost one year old daughter now. So uh, we had, as you may have, if you've been watching the show for a little while, you know that I had some plans. We, our family had plans to go to Europe for a couple of months. Uh, in fact, today we would just be getting off an airplane from Paris to Dublin, Ireland, which I've always wanted to visit. And I, it's going to take another um, year before I get there. But anyway, uh, so... I'm super excited to be back here in the studio and just have uh, kind of a little bit back to familiarity for me anyway with all this tech technology and there was a few technical glitches that uh, um, I encountered along the way trying to do all this stuff on the move. Here, my hair all funny. I got a new haircut. <laughs> okay, so um, today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to draw faces from the three-quarter angle. So, so far what we've done is we've learned how to draw faces some straight on, and then from last class we learned how to draw faces sideways, right, or a profile. So we're gonna learn the three-quarter view today. And um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you a simplified version of a few different techniques because as I've may have mentioned before there's there are kind of infinite ways and strategies and techniques for drawing people's faces and the more you get into it the more you realize like you, you'll find different books from the library showing uh, different ways to measure and how to get the the, the, the structure correct um, and I say correct because while everybody has a skull, the skulls and lips and noses and ears and everything is all different sizes, right? So we, as artists, try to find, like, what is the kind of average to get us into the zone? And then from there, we can kind of expand and contract things, which is actually just a little teaser for Thursday's episode. I'm going to be showing you how to make caricatures. So we're going to be expanding noses, making jaws bigger, smaller, so we can really start manipulating the face to create whether you want to do like political cartoons or come up with your own cartoon characters or even help you find your own unique style. Because if you start noticing different artists kind of focus on different parts of the face and that really helps give them a unique kind of trademark style so um <laughs> my wife saying nice haircut um okay so today i uh, usually i teach a much more complex way of drawing um, th this kind of three-quarter um, view of the face in my classes at uh, the university I teach at. So I'm tr I've been thinking about today how to adapt this and to simplify it because I, 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 I want to think of this class as a beginner's class that I want you to think and, and to, to be able to do everything we're doing today without any drawing experience whatsoever. So I'm trying to, um, so this will be the first time I've taught this kind of pared down version of uh, this technique. So 
Also, you'll notice at the beginning of every episode, I usually, well, not while I was away, but I usually kind of have on the screen saying the stuff we're going to do. I haven't had a chance to do that today, but it's also because we're going to incorporate the warm-up drawing into the actual exercise. So, blah, 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 blah. Let's get out your sketchbook and let's start drawing. So, you've got your sketchbook. You can use um, any kind of pencils you like. Now here's my uh, pencil case that I've I've brought back with me, or I bring with me everywhere, and um, you can use your HB pencil. Like you know, I've got uh, you know these little tiny ones from the library. They work just as well as anything else, right? Um, which again is why I love drawing because you can just use the simplest, cheapest materials. So. HB pencil works fine. 2B pencil is my preferred. Um, let me see. I'm just going to... This is kind of bright, isn't it? Darken that screen a bit. Okay. Um, and... I am going to use some colored pencils just because that's what I, I like doing on the show. So you see the different steps. And while I'm remembering off the top of the bat, if you have any drawings that you want to share with me and get some feedback on, send them to uh, the Instagram or Facebook or Twitter links below. And then at the very end of the session, I'll give you some feedback, a little critique, and give you some advice on how to improve your drawings. So I'm just going to quickly sharpen my blue. Okay. And... Yeah, actually, I'm going to do these with the color pencil for our warm-up. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin by practicing drawing some circles, and we're going to turn them into spheres, and then, uh, well, you'll see. So I'm going to move my sketchbook over here so it fits on the screen. And so let's start out... Um, Let's even do some small circles. Let's just kind of remember before we talked about, I think this is going back all the way to maybe the third or fourth episode of the warm up. So, you know, we're making some circles and then think about trying to draw them in different directions. So instead of maybe you, you make circles the way you do the letters O or the zero in your checkbook, think about starting in different places and thinking about going in different directions each time. All right? I'm just gonna make this even darker up here. Oh, what's going on? Maybe that's better, so it's just not so bright. Okay, so we got a, some circles. Let's try now making a larger circle here. All right? So we got a larger circle. And then what we want to imagine is, uh, here, I got one right here, actually. Let's imagine we're going to draw like a ball with a, like an elastic band. If I, you know, I could spend all day trying to get that straight on, that looks like. Looks like my, uh, whenever I bend over, I got a little bit of one of these. <laughs> um, so we're going to imagine we're going to put like an elastic band over the front and the back, kind of like this, right? So we're going to draw something like this. Okay. So maybe, maybe I can even put that there. Will it, will it play nicely? Not well. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna pull, well, maybe I can, can I hold it? So that you can see what I'm talking about here. Um, so let's, well, ah, that's gonna be more, more problem than it's worth. Imagine we put that elastic band and it stretches over. Right, and then on the other side, we would see. Let's say again, this is a piece of styrofoam. 
So we'd have this dotted line going on the other side. And then I'm just going to use a different color just to simplify. Let's say we have this other elastic band coming over here, right through the middle. And then likewise, a dotted line like that. Okay, so let's let's try this again. We're, we'll do a few more of these to get into the zone. All right, okay. And let's see, let's try doing another one like this. With, and then we imagine this dotted line kind of coming around here. All right. Maybe I'll keep this uh, blue line in the same kind of place. All right. So what I'm doing is as I get closer, I kind of curve my line around. And then I imagine it being like this. And maybe it's another color. Just to kind of go over. So then I'm going to kind of select where the... So I've got kind of a fuzzy line around the edge here. Okay, let's do this again. Let's uh, make another sphere. Let me know in the comments too if that music is uh, too loud or too, or if it's just barely audible and it's annoying because I can't hear it. Otherwise, you'd hear this crazy echo going on. So. And that music, of course, is composed by one of my dearest friends of all, Sam Davidson, and uh, formerly of the, the band Brastronaut, if you've heard of them. Let's see, let's do another one. Let's make this go right up high, like this. And then that would mean this dotted line on the other side. And then let's maybe try, let's maybe put this circle here and then okay so um, and we could we can practice this kind of add infinitum if you like uh oh uh, peter says the music volume is good and amy says i can't hear the music <laughs> i don't know so who do, who do i believe there um so the the reason why we're doing this is we're going to so far basically we've learned how to draw faces that were let me see if i get that straight on would be kind of straight on like this like, and then, as I said, we also learned how to draw faces from the side. All right. So just as a quick review, I think it's one of the... So here's what we did last class, right? So we have a face straight on, and now we have a face to the side. So I'm going to show you how to draw everything in between, or not, well the technique that you would use to draw everything in between, as well as if you wanted to draw the, the head pointing up or pointing down, etc. So, this is the ball that we were just talking about, this shape inside. Now, uh, just while I'm here, you notice that there's no, this ball here is kind of, would you know, we could, let me see, I could draw another sphere in here All right that same circle could reappear here but you notice how we've it's not quite you know as wide right we've kind of chopped off a little bit on the sides so while we see this ball here we're also going to kind of trim it on the sides we're going to come to it again 
Okay. So, I'm just thinking to myself, what's the easiest way to explain this? Okay. Um... Maybe... Let's... Draw... Let's... We're gonna draw the head from the side again. We're gonna draw the head from the side, and then we're gonna draw the three-quarter view next to it, so you can kind of see how this works. So, this will be a, a good review, because uh, even the feedback from my mom, who's been dra drawing along with us the whole time, said that last class went a little bit faster uh, than, you know, than previously, or she had a hard time kind of keeping up. So, um, this will be a good review for, for those of you who found last week a little bit fast. So, let's start out, we're going to draw this circle again. Okay. Right, and then we're going to divide it in half. So this is, we're going to have a face pointing this direction here, to the right. Okay. Now this is where is kind of like your eyebrow ridge, right? So kind of where your 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 uh, your eyebrows, kind of the the top of your the 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 bone that kind of keeps the well, actually, sorry, this is your eyeball is gonna is kind of sits like this, and so. Where, if we identify where the eyeball is, it tells us kind of where now the middle of the face is going to be, right? So this would be your your eye line, like the eye line right in here, right? So that means, because we know when we did the face straight on, then the eye is basically in the middle of the face. So we can then take this little extra bit and add it to the bottom down here. Right, so this here, down here, means this eye uh, should now be roughly halfway between the top of the head and the bottom down here. And we're just going to draw this line straight down. Okay. And then we're going to... The jaw kind of goes slopes down here and halfway between the eye and the chin is the nose and halfway between the nose and the chin are the lips okay so here's our nose kind of comes out here here's kind of the that brow ridge Here's our the eyeball, lips. Right. Depending on on who it is, this chin could come down a little bit lower. As I said, I I, you know, I want to remind people over and over and over again that these are just general guidelines. That people's faces are or everybody's got a different face, right? So let's say this would be your your eyelids, kind of roughly in here. And then we also talked about the ear being a little bit bigger when we're drawing from the side, right? Because it's gonna, it's literally the closest feature to the camera or to you, the viewer, etc. Right, so we have generally and then say halfway between the uh, the eye line sorry and the top of the head is going to be your hairline although for most people it's going to kind of come up so we might have something like this i guess for for a hairline for people some people when I was, I remember when I was a kid, I used, my hair just seemed to kind of come a little bit lower down on my forehead. Okay. 
and then depending on the hairstyle you have let's say you could have hair longer hair shorter hair you know marge simpson hair whatever right coming off the top so this is our side view of the face and we're not i already did a, a couple of episodes really talking about that so we're not going to go too much further there so let's we're going to draw this face again on the side from the three quarter here so i'm just going to draw some guidelines for myself okay so let's draw this sphere or the circle to start again all right it's got to fit in between these lines and take your time kind of getting it right okay and then maybe when you're when you're kind of feeling a little bit more confident of that then just go over over it make it a little bit darker you know uh, this is why having some colored pencils kind of helps even if you're drawing at home you might find that helpful okay and while we're here since we know this is roughly where the jaw is going to be down here that's going to be helpful in a moment and this is where the eye line is going to be so to start, um, I'm going to use the blue here. So let's imagine we're going to turn this head. Um, we're going to put this head on a three quarter angle. So we're going to draw this line around the sphere like that. And again, we could imagine it being kind of going around the ball like that. Okay. Now, um, let's imagine, remember we, so this is where the eye line is going to be. So let's imagine we have an eyeball right here. Right, because remember we talked about essentially you have you could fit basically kind of three eyeballs, you know, in the in you could fit an eyeball in between the two eyeballs, right? So if I put an eyeball right here, I could put another one next to it, and I could put it another one, but this one's gonna get a little bit smaller, right? And in fact, so, um, oh, or sorry, I should have made these, these bigger here. So that's the center of the eye. So this eyeball, another one, and this one's going to get a little bit smaller. Because this is, uh, this is your eye line. So if we imagine, and this is not right in the middle of the ball, it's a little bit lower, because this is, above here is this line, the brow line. Right. I know that this is going to, this is a little bit confusing off the top, but we're going to do this a few times, that's why I kind of skipped the the warm up because I want to we're going to go over this a number of times to make it uh, so that it sticks. And I'll show you kind of how to find when we don't have this as a reference how to jump right to this. So just bear with me, just kind of keep following along. Okay. So now if so so we know that this for our sake here, we've already figured out where the chin is, so I'll show you how to find that out later on. So we're going to draw down here, this is the side, outside of the face, All right? And then we have, we're gonna, gonna just give it a little bit of a flatter area here. And then, um, what's the easiest way 
to do this. Um, I'm going to put... So, if this is the, the front of the face, then to find this line, it's going to be kind of... It's going to run the other direction. All right? And it is, well... Come around here. So this is going to tell us that the ear would be somewhere like this. Right? Because it's going to come up to this line. Right? And then, therefore... The jaw is going to kind of, just like this, kind of come off the ear here. Okay. Now, just from, we can use this nose line. I'll show you how to, again, how to do all this from scratch. But this would be where the nose would be. And what, once we've sort of got this done here, we're now going to change the angle of this original blue line. So instead of it curving under this ball, it's now going straight down the face like this. Or it kind of curves a little bit, but straight down the face like that. And let's put use this red for the nose. So we know this is the nose. So this is the nose line. Um, I'm going to draw a kind of triangle here. All right, nose. And this is the mouth. These are the eyes. This also tells us that the mouth would come almost or right up to where these lines meet. All right, and then we'd have the neck and everything down here. So we have your eyebrows, eyeballs, nose, lips etc okay maybe I'll leave that just for a second and let anybody catch up well, we're gonna do this about three or four times let's let's say let's do it we're, we'll do it four times then we're gonna do a final drawing for today and it'll give you plenty of opportunity to really see how this works you can also see why understanding the, the, the front of the face and the side of the face helps before we leap right into the, into the dark, deep end of the pool, into the three-quarter view. Okay. So. Just uh, hold on a second here. The, uh, maybe just while I'm, I'm waiting for us to, for anybody who's kind of a little bit uh, still working on this drawing, the, what we're, the main kind of, the most famous way of doing this is called the, the Loomis method. Um, and to be honest, I actually don't really know anything about that artist who developed this. I should, I should do some research, but, uh, um, so we're, 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 we're taking an idea that he developed, and I'm radically simplifying it, because, uh, again, this is supposed to be an introductory drawing class. Okay, so let's go to the next page. And I'm going to divide this page into quarters. Again, you notice I'm not concerned about, you know, these are smaller than this up here. Who cares, right? And let's draw um, a sphere in each one. All right, so I got one there. And I got another one here. What's kind of exciting about doing these online classes for me is I can spend a whole 
class just talking about this about drawing faces from this point of view because usually when I'm teaching these classes in person uh, we actually only do what I think three classes on the whole face so we don't get to do this kind of stuff so this is a little bit more advanced than what I typically teach um, but I think once you understand this it'll actually make drawing the side and the front of the face easier okay so we're going to draw the face from a whole bunch of different angles here just so we can get into the the, the habit of, of doing this whole system so which how do we do this one was facing let's let's uh we're going to do the same thing but from slightly different angle so i'm going to let's start out with we're going to put the this is going to be the the brow line right or sorry dotted line on the other side and then so that's and then I'm going to draw this line for the center of the face the vertical center like that okay so I'm going to put an eyeball right in the middle. I'm gonna draw another one, almost kind of starting to overlap it a little bit. If that comes across. And then another one over here that's also being overlapped a little bit. You see it's getting a little bit smaller. And let's say if I imagine this is an eyeball, another eyeball, this tells me where the eye line is, right? And so if this is my eye line, this tells me basically I want to recreate this distance down here. It's going to tell me my chin is going to be somewhere roughly around there. All right, and I'm going to draw that part of the face right down to here now remember we talked about the drawing the ear right so here's this other so this would be like as if we added another rubber band on here right so uh, what makes the most sense something Currently, we have a view kind of like that. And now we're drawing the line for the ear around this side. Okay. And maybe while I'm here, we'll put the ear in here as a placeholder. And then this line comes down for the jaw. And then this line for the middle of the face comes straight down. Or again, not straight, just kind of a much more gentle curve. Okay. So halfway between the, sorry, the eye line and the chin is where the nose is gonna be. And then halfway between here the nose and the chin is the mouth and when we're looking at the face side on or, or uh, with, when the face is kind of um, what you call that level or I guess the the bottom of the ball is also gonna is just incidentally matches up with the, the lips All right so if we look back here right matches up roughly with the mouth okay so let's just draw a triangle for the nose and I don't know if it comes across but I actually give it just a little like as if I see a bit of the bottom of that triangle so I got kind of 
a little bit of a triangle coming off here. Sorry, my mute the phone there. Right? So we have eyebrows. Um, and this would be the middle of your your lips would be bottom lip. Obviously, you'd have your eyelids be different shapes here. Um, maybe also, while we're right here, another little thing we can add is just on the side of the face, kind of where um, is this little divot for um, where when we when we look on this. Let me see if I can do this myself here where the eyebrow kind of cuts in and then back out for the cheek All right so it comes back out up here for the eyebrow ridge and back out for the cheek uh, again there's there's hmm, I think I'm gonna leave it yeah, I could go way more complex than this, but we'll kind of leave it here. And then it, the neck, again, is totally dependent on each person. So maybe if you've... Uh, I'm going to go over top of this just quickly with a little bit of color. Let's imagine, let's, one, let's say we're looking downward, right? So let's say this is the eyebrow line. We're going to be kind of looking downward and at an angle. Right, so this dotted line would be somewhere back there. And this... Blue line. Let's come up. Okay. And then let's draw some eyeballs again. Now, the eyeballs are gonna are are gonna kind of move a little bit because now the head is facing a little bit down. Just imagine these. And the one that's closest to us is always going to be a little bit bigger. All right, so let's just we'll put... <laughs> it already kind of looks like a cartoon. Okay, so if this is our, our eye line... Maybe I should uh, use a different color, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'll just keep with that red. So this is our eye line, right? And it's the top of the head, let's actually, we'll, we'll do this ear line right now, right? Is going to be kind of, we got all these overlapping lines, but kind of right on the top. So this tells us if this is to the top of the head, all right, the the we can add this extra little bit to the bottom. Alright. And this line instead of curving all the way down is gonna come straight down this way. Okay. 
This is going to curve here. Okay. So halfway between here and the chin is the nose and then the lips. All right? So let's uh, use another color. Got this kind of nose shape here. Say so these are some eyes. Here's your mouth. So at this point, it's kind of worth kind of mentioning how the face, we're gonna start chopping a little bit of the, the, the roundness from the sides of the face off. In the, the Loomis, I don't even, hmm. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna, I don't wanna give, make things too complicated. So, um, I'm just gonna keep on going, and when we get to that point, I think we'll, we'll cross it. Okay, so this is this face kind of looking down. I should also say that this, what we're doing here is helpful if you're, particularly helpful if you're trying to imagine faces and you're drawing from your imagination rather than drawing directly from life. So if you're drawing comic books and you're inventing characters, understanding a little bit about these principles is really important. If you have people that you can see in front of you, as we're going to work from an image shortly, you'll see that this is a lot easier to do when you when you can refer to a photograph or a person in front of you. Okay, so let's um, let's do the opposite of this, so the the face is looking up. So let's this is going to do our eyebrow line. So this dotted line behind and what would be, let's say, let's say this face is going to look up this way. Okay, maybe while we're right here, let's do this, the other, this ear line, right? So that's, this is a little, I can imagine this being kind of tricky for people to visualize, like where do I put these lines? Um, how do I know where they are? Is a good question. I've just been. It's it's one of those things. With, when it comes to teaching, sometimes stuff you know things so well intuitively that trying to explain them is a little bit tricky. Um, gosh. Uh, well, it's it comes with just I, I guess a little bit of practice is trying to find where these lines and they don't have to be perfect either. Right, and that's why it'll be helpful for you to, to draw from reality rather than draw. Once we practice this a little bit, drawing um, from things you can see to find these things. But of course, you could always get yourself a ball, and let's say using a sharpie, let's say draw like a red line, draw a blue line, and let's say a green line crisscrossing in the other the other axis, right? Okay, so let's now draw, we're going to put an eye right in the middle. Another one. This is almost about the same size. Okay, and then let's say there's an eye on either side. Here's our eye line. And that means 
and this face kind of comes down here, that, um, let's say if it's going to come just a little bit lower than the bottom. And I'm actually going to give it like a little bottom of the chin here, a bit of a, like a flat kind of space. And then I'm going to come up here, so... this line it's gonna come here the this is my eye line halfway between here and the chin right here's my nose and then my mouth so obviously the top of the head is much shorter we we we, we don't even really see maybe this might be right up there with the hairline right and then let's say we have the nose kind of coming out. And what would be one other angle different than what we've we done on that angle, that angle. What would um that's something totally different. Well, I, maybe just for the sake, we'll just repeat this, but we'll just change it slightly here. Okay. So let's put here's the eyebrow line. Let's get the vertical line in the center. And then here's our ear line. Okay, I'm going to start with an eyeball, another eyeball, and a smaller eyeball. Here's my eye line, the bottom of the chin, outside of the face. Here's the jaw, here's my ear. Center the face down here. Halfway between here and here is the nose and the mouth. Okay. I'm just going to go over top of a few things here, and then we're going to start our final drawing for today. How's everybody doing out there? I know this is a little bit more of a complicated exercise, um, but you know, if you were just to practice doing um, these, drawing the heads in different angles, like we've just been doing, holy smokes, you'd be, you'd find. Once you, you turn to try to draw a, a, a so-called real face from, from life, how much easier things are going to be for you. OK. 
Okay. So, and of course your hairline, if I just followed, I think I did a hairline. Oh, I didn't do the hairline on here. So let's draw it on here. So halfway between here and the top of the head, be your hairline. Let's say, I'll just use my own hairline kind of as hair coming up over there. <laughs> Heidi says this is really great practice uh, Amy says things are going great Peter says this is a bit difficult but my drawings look pretty good for somebody who just started this an hour ago yeah I think um, it's one of those things that you know I can explain it a hundred times and you can intellectually try to understand it but once you start doing it it starts getting making a little bit more sense and it gets easier and easier and we're not going to see a lot of the structure once we we're going to cover it with facial features um, but I think just grappling a little bit with trying to draw the sphere from a few different angles is super helpful okay um, let me see while everyone is working on maybe finishing that, I'm going to show you a few different images. Maybe pull this down. Okay. Um, so on the screen there, uh, again, I'm using this website called unsplash to find some images these are all copyright free images that anybody can use uh, ideally you'd credit the photographer or artist for using these images which I will do and I'll put them in the in the show notes at the end but I just thought okay so we're going to draw last week we drew Barbara Streisand so today we're, let's find um, someone else that we can draw and you see most of these portraits are straight on. Faces right from the front, or almost from the profile. You know, here's a side profile. Here's a three quarter. Right, here's a three quarter. But we got these glasses. So I liked this guy here. Thought he would be good. And then I saw this guy, which I'm sure a lot of the ladies would be very happy to spend time um, looking at this fellow. Um, let's say I was really excited about drawing. Hmm. Yeah, let's draw this guy. I was going to say I was starting to change my mind about drawing him just because he's got the glasses and it's a little bit. But you know, let's let's see if it's or you know what, glasses might just be too much for people. So let's. Uh, I think I've got a version of this I downloaded already. So here's this handsome dude. Okay. Um, Okay, so we're not, we're not going to draw his physique here. We're just going to focus on his face. Um, and we're going to... Here, I'm going to pull this down here. So let me, I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> okay, let's 
a little bit a little dark, so you know I'm just gonna use some tools to brighten this up a tad. And just for those of you who are interested in how I would edit this photograph, I'm just gonna go into the shadows and brighten up the shadows. This is just the free software that comes with any You'll find this on your Mac or PC, Windows Media Viewer, or just Preview here on the Mac. Um, I can even, let's say, just brighten this. I'm just, what I'm doing is I just want you to be able to see a little bit more of this eye, I think is important. Okay. And let's maybe even make, is that too big? A little bit too big. Okay, so let's go to a blank page in the sketchbook. I'll keep that flat. And let's um, sharpen up some pencils to get ready here. So the, maybe even before I start drawing, what I would do is just start looking at this image to try to um, find the shapes that are in here. And if you recall, this is, we talked about how to draw elephants and uh, dogs, cats, etc. Looking for those in those shapes that are inside of, of everything, right? So drawing a face or a person is no different, right? Um, so we're, we're going to look for that sphere inside of the, right? So we can see the, the sphere, excuse me, um, up here, right? And it's going to obviously disappear as we go inside of his face. So let's bring the sketchbook into view and let's tackle this drawing here. So, let's go this way, just put him in the center there. Now, I'm going to try to draw it roughly the same size. So let's start with a great big oval, or circle, sorry, I mean. I can try to get them roughly the same size. It'd be something. It might actually, well, it would technically be bigger. You know, I don't want to get too deep into the weeds, but okay. So the next thing we want to do is, well, there's, there's no right or wrong ways to which one you decide to do, whether you want to try to go for the eyebrow line or for the vertical line in the middle of the face. Either one works well so maybe um since we've been doing the eyebrow line i think we've been doing that first so let's so if i'm looking at this image i'll go again what i can his he's not really he's looking down ever so slightly he's not you know radically up or down he's kind of just a little bit kind of looking a little tiny bit downward so that means, so let, let's say if we had a straight line going across, right? So let's even try to find that angle of his eyes, right? So, so maybe that's a little bit, so I can just you can put my pencil there. I think he's more like that, I think. All right, so I'm just gonna, let's say if I draw a line kind of across, that would be if it was straight on, but he's just a little bit lower. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a curve here. Does that make sense? Right, and we would expect this dotted line to kind of go in behind the head like that. 
Okay, similarly, let's look for... So, and we all, we once you've got one line down, it's going to help everything else because everything is going to be perpendicular to this line, right? Which means it's going to intersect at like a 45 degree angle right here. So, now we just need to find out where does this next line go, right? So, I kind of, I'm looking basically for in between the nose there. So, let's just say... This is where they're going to intersect. All right. And as we would expect, there's this line is a little bit longer than this line, right? Because it's just the way that the head is is right. This line is kind of now a little bit unseen down here. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw in a couple of eye or three quick little eyeballs in here for myself. And then let's, this one's going to get a little bit bigger over here, right? This one should be actually a bit bigger. It's too small. Okay. And you know, his, he's looking. I'm just going to try to draw this. This is his eyeballs looking in this direction while we're right here. <laughs> and then that tells me that we've got. Our eye line is somewhere right here. And we're just sketching. So I, if I was doing this drawing, I wouldn't go into this kind of detail. Um, maybe even... I could do after... I'm just thinking out loud to myself. I could do another drawing after this showing kind of how I would do this maybe a little bit faster. So let me... We'll see how, how far we get here, but okay, so we've got our eye line in. All right, so that's also going to tell us how much of more of this jaw should come down. So roughly about here. All right, and so we'll just continue this line here. And then ear line here. I'm going to put the ear roughly in here. And again, we we can adjust the, the size of the ear and move it up or down later on. I'm just kind of putting it there as a placeholder. Okay, and halfway now between the nose and the chin, or between the eye line and the chin, is the nose, somewhere roughly here, and then the lips roughly here. All right, so if this was sticking out, all right, and his nose is kind of pointing a little bit down, so I'm just gonna point this out. Um, and then let's say, I'm just going to quickly sketch in a few other things like his neck, right, and this other part of his body. So, I've, I've roughly sketched in this face. Now, before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is now take another, I'm going to go back to... So I'm taking my original drawing and I'm going to go back to the the photograph because I've I've kind of figured out the way that he's looking. I should have drawn this right this line right down the middle of the face. And I'm now going to try to apply some general facial features onto this 
in order to then we'll start because I th we're definitely gonna have to lengthen the chin here. He's got a pretty strong chin, right? And this face right now looks very round. Um, the other thing I would say, what's really helpful about drawing, be once you understand this, is that I could take this same person in this photograph and and rotate his head a little bit and draw it again. So let's say if I was using, if I wanted to use this guy as uh, the hero of my comic book, but I only have one photograph of him, but I need him looking in all sorts of different angles. Well, if I understand this method, then I can rotate the head up or down and move it all around and still keep the face um, looking like the same person. Okay. So let's, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this, uh, to his eye here. So I'm gonna start with this eyelid. I'm just gonna try to sketch him, this eye in here. All right, we've got this eyeball. Okay, and then he's got kind of a bit of a, these arched eyebrows kind of coming in here. So I'm just going to draw these in. Alright. And then here would be this kind of white highlight on his nose. And then here's the other side of his nose. We imagine this ball being, big ball being right there. And then the smaller one here. Okay. And I'm still gonna, but I'm not gonna draw his nose just yet. I'm gonna kind of just work my way there in a second. You can see this eyebrow, the ridge here kind of coming up. And okay, it's a little bit hard to see his eye here. So as we get here, remember, this is what's important about knowing this is an eyeball is that it's kind of everything's wrapping around this shape. Now, we can see, look at this gap I've got right here, All right? So this tells, again, reminds me this, when we drew here earlier, how it's gonna kind of cut in up. All right? So we've got his, and some people have, you know, really pronounced cheekbones. Some people have smaller ones, everyone's got, different size cheekbones but that kind of helps us get into the zone here so we look at his nose he looks like he's actually got a little bit longer of a nose right and um, so I might just extend it a little bit so he's got a little bit of a bump here so I'm just gonna draw his nose just a little bit lower All right and you see kind of there's this little um, point almost. He's got kind of a very geometric nose shape here. And then a nostril curving up. Okay. And Might, you know, I could actually maybe have drawn his nose even a little bit. Well, I'm going to say you can see this space between his nose and his cheek here is longer, is wider in my drawing. So I, part of that is I've drawn his cheekbone a little bit too big. And I think I could draw his nose even bigger. But 
but I think I've also his face is maybe a little bit more turned in the photograph than what I've drawn. Again, that's it doesn't if I'm not so concerned about that because now I can draw his face from any kind of different angle I want. Okay. I got his nose and I've made it a little bit bigger. And let's now go down to his lips. So this would be where the center of the lips would be right in here. Uh, actually, here's going to come down a bit. All right, so we had this little divot. chin right which where he's got hair there but it would get darker if we were to shade it and then you can see his chin is is longer so we're gonna bring his chin down All right and I'm gonna widen his jaw out a bit. He's got kind of ears that look like they stick out quite a bit, so that changes things a bit as well. We're gonna. Well, again, so now I'm gonna look at this gap here, and I feel like this ear is gonna start a little bit closer here. It sticks out quite a ways. even made his face even longer. Um, that's all right. Here's his neck. Okay. Now this, this is what I was talking about is the making the, the well, mm, I don't even going to introduce that math. That, so, Right now, our face is a little bit round, so we're going to kind of narrow his head in a little bit here. So even this is where his hair would be. His actual skull, though, is going to be inside here. And so this would be where his hair, outside of his hair, would be. And then the skull is going to be inside. And then let's start, we can start putting in some of his hair. He's got this part. And that hair's pretty close to his head, like it's not... He's, he's kind of patted it down pretty hard, right? Okay, and then he's got, you know, he's got his little stubble coming down here. Okay, and again, I could even bring his chin even further down here, which could mean even moving his lips, lengthening his nose, but our purpose just understanding how this works is what's important okay so um let's see five twenty um <laughs> Heidi says this will definitely challenge us yikes okay but you know I think 
we're, I think maybe I'll do this, I'll, uh, hmm, how do I want to do this? I don't think anyone sent any images for me to look at yet today, so I'm not going to, unless somebody sends, if you do want to upload an image, just as quickly, if you do want to upload a, uh, this drawing that you're working on or anything else from today or previous classes, you can do that right now. And at the end of the class, I usually go through um, the images that people have sent me and give you feedback. If you want to do that right now, then that'll give me something. Otherwise, I'm going to quickly talk about how I would finish this drawing and then I might even start another one. Maybe I'll do that other drawing. So. Let's see how far we get here. Because um, this might be what other people are going to work on. So um, just really quickly, what I would do if I want to... I'm going to start looking for the hair on his head. And so I'm going to draw... we got kind of shorter hair here. So just quickly identifying the direction of these hairs. ear. We talked about how to do the ear in a separate video, all right, this kind of Y shape. Um, but I'm just going to kind of eyeball this a little bit here. Heidi says she's going to send an image in a minute. Great. Great. So, since he's got shorter hair, unlike when we've I've demonstrated how to draw hair, we, we were looking at like people with really long hair, like that really long blonde hair, right? So, I'm kind of breaking up some of the those long strands into much shorter segments. She's got kind of these longer eyelashes. And it's always kind of really nice to put in a nice highlight on the eyes. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space for that.
Um, okay, I'm just about done here. Obviously, I could continue working on this for quite a while, but... Um, I might... Oh, I might start the other one here. Um, Heidi, you could send it whatever. I think you've been sending through Instagram, right? So either either way works well. Now again, I you know when I look at this drawing, I, I do feel like it's rounder and you know shorter, but that's you know the as you get kind of warmed up, you do this a little bit, then you can kind of adjust these proportions since this is the first time I've drawn this person you know I'm I'm learning I'm kind of studying this face like I can see this jaw like that ear really should be kind of maybe right here but I'm also kind of looking from like when I'm the, the trick is that I'm sort of drawing like this <laughs> so that my head doesn't get in the camera above which here, so everything kind of looks a little distorted until I look at it on the screen and go, oh, oops. <laughs> okay. Um, just going to add a few little areas. What else needs to be darkened right off the... Just add a little bit of stubble here, darken under the nose. Again, you can use that uh, that little t cliched technique of squinting your eyes to help you see the darker areas. Um, but if you could do, if you can draw this drawing at, at any reasonable level, holy smokes, you are off and running. Okay, we will give it just a second. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look here for Heidi's image. few think people have sent a few in here. Okay, let me... Um... Wow, this looks... This is great. So this is uh, a new photo that... So we'll, maybe we'll jump around here and then we'll see, depending on how I feel. We've got all these images here. This is a new one that... Uh, Heidi sent in from today's class. Oh, this looks like a lot like what you did uh, last time, the, the side profile. So um, I guess you're using some of the, the techniques from today's class to, to do this. Uh, looks fantastic. Great. I'm, I'm glad that you did this so quickly. I like that you challenged yourself. I can't remember if you had glasses in your previous picture or not. Um, but this looks really well. Like the, you can use these things like shadows on the face to help articulate the shape of the face, right? So this helps us um, see the shape of your face. I think what's a little bit odd is we're missing your eye in here. So it kind of looks like there's just skin going right over your eye, which is a little bit uh, odd. So even trying to, one thing you can do um, if you're, if drawing 
like what I often will tell people to do is try drawing your face without your glasses if you're drawing yourself portrait and then put your glasses back on um, or if you're if you're working from a photograph and you're drawing somebody you could ask them to take their glasses off for a photograph and then put them right back on keeping the same kind of angle so that you can have two photos because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult drawing those uh, those shapes if especially you have wider glasses that kind of obscure part of the face um, so yeah she was reading they're obscured by the handle um, but that you look at this beautiful hair that you've done really like I can feel the uh, the speed of this kind of sketching that is working really really well for you uh, it feels very dynamic so great drawing and I like that you even quickly threw in all those little circles under the background just to kind of give it a little something extra rather than just keeping it blank. Um, one thing, I do feel maybe that this, your, this part of your nose looks a little bit longer, So because I, I feel like uh, it, what it is doing is making your, the, your jaw look like coming out a little bit more, so I would expect maybe your eyebrow to kind of be coming out maybe a little bit closer to here rather than here otherwise great drawing really good work um, very exciting um, yeah I don't I don't have anything more I can add to it but especially considering the last few drawings that you've sent have been really fantastic uh, oh and Palash says got another one or who's this from? Oh, okay, so this is also from Palash. Okay, oops. Let's show this here. And I think you've got it. two, another. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So, um, so this would have been from last week. I'll bring this up nice and big. Which looks fantastic. Great work. Yeah, so we can see that, I mean, you've got all the, the basics in there. Um, I think maybe one little, like, as we said, the, the jaw is often, especially when we're drawing men, kind of comes down a little bit lower on both images as well. So right now this jaw looks, yeah, and to be fair, this is exactly what my drawing <laughs> looked like. Um, but uh, I would try to, with this, the line, like this, you know, um, bottom, unless somebody was yelling or, or, you know, I guess I just, this top lip looks a little bit long. So I would kind of have it coming up here and this bottom lip coming down here. A little tiny little thing, but um, looks great. I don't really, what can I add to this? Great little sketch that you made. I mean, just to show the, the general size and location of these features is, is really good. I'm, I'm really pleased with the progress and like the way that you've drawn the nose. Um, good job, Plash. Okay. I don't know if anybody else has sent anything else. Okay, so maybe... Um, I'm going to keep on drawing. If anybody wants to uh, stay with me and, and watch or draw along with me, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, this would be kind of where we would end the class. So um, next class, we're going to talk about drawing caricatures, and we're going to talk about how to take what we've learned through all of these classes on drawing faces and how to... Uh, how to really play with them and to use them to create new characters, to do silly versions of people you know, or even of yourself. And I think that's what gets really exciting because then it's less kind of, a lot of this has been a little bit more regimented and less creative as you might say, right? So next week is we're really gonna allow ourselves to have a lot of fun. And that's, I, you know, I think it's really important to understand these basics but then once you get the basics done, that's where I find when I'm drawing that I'm laugh. I'm literally laughing at my own drawings. I'm just like, oh my goodness, what are you doing, Michael? This is, you're going to hear me saying things like, because then you just start, you're like, oh, well, what if I made the eyebrows really big? Like as big as the, as, 
I don't know, the ears, and we have gigantic eyebrows, and we have a tiny little nose, and huge lips, you know, like, once you start, once you understand the basics, then, you know, all bets are off, and so that's what I think is really exciting, so that's what we're going to do uh, on Thursday, so, um, if you're still, if you want to stick around, I'm going to show you how I would approach this fellow, let me see, okay, so let's bring him down here and i'm going to sharpen my pencil up okay so again actually here i think i got a better i got the actual so this is the original photo Let's make him bigger. Okay. Thank you guys for sending in all those great images. It makes me so excited to see the great things that people are doing. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's move him over a bit. Okay. So, again, I want to find this basic shape the sphere in here and then even though he's kind of his head is let me get my other view here Oops. sorry that up why it disappeared okay so even though his head is on a bit of an angle he's still he's if we look at the the he's still kind of looking at his straight on so even less almost no in fact I I think we could pretty much go straight across here so let's look for that angle of his eyes or something roughly like that Okay, and we're going to draw this uh, next line. He's looking, we see a little bit more of that other eye, so we're going to put this. Hmm, I kind of feel like, well, let's see how this works. I feel there might be a little bit too much room over here, but I can always chop this off and add more here. So it's never a problem. So let's start. I'm going to put an eyeball in here. Add another one here. Here. Things always look a little bit silly when you when you do this. I mean, like right here, that's a cartoon character, right? Here's the beginning of a gigantic movie franchise, right here. My gift to you, right? Maybe if you make a billion dollars off of this, cut me a, a check, and you could uh, send it through my PayPal at the link below. And then uh, I think next week we'll have the Patreon up and running. So, okay. So this is my eye line right here. Okay. Now that tells me we can add this extra little bit down here. All right, so here's that part of the face. Let's get the ear. So we see very little, like so the ear would be kind of right around here, All right? So, I have an ear that is roughly here. I'll take this down to this jaw. Ah! Okay, give me one second. Ah, I got a battery to replace. Since I'm running a little bit longer here. Oh! <laughs> 
Uh, give me one second. And I came in from the other side. battery and why don't I just I'll put it in the charger right now good okay so we've got this uh, line is gonna come straight down All right and then this tells us between here and here actually this should be a little bit lower that the nose is gonna be about here and the lips about here. Okay. So I'm going to quickly look for the shape of his eye. You can see that they're quite uh, closed, right? They're not wide open. is the side of his face here. Okay, and then this would be the the nose kind of coming down here. All right, if we imagine we got a ball here, and a ball there, and another ball here. lips down because we've got let's say again I'm, once I get a few lines down I can start really imagine I can plot out where everything is so if this is his mustache then I need this space for his lips so this under here is where the, the dividing line between the lips is going to be Do I want at this stage here? I'll even kind of put in his nose ring just so I see it. Okay, eyebrows. Notice I'm I'm waiting here. I want to get most of the face done before I even attempt those glasses. for his hairline now. Right, the 
This is facial hair. Okay. So ordinarily, hairline would be somewhere around here, but his hair's hairline's much higher. Right up here. going to draw his hand in here so the other so let's say the collar of a shirt um, then I'm looking for um, looks like right above here would be the other side of a shirt coming down okay so now let's take a an attempt at these glasses so I'm gonna just start out with the shape, like a circle shape. And I wanna try to find out where the, the edges of it are, All right? So let's say this looks kind of roughly where one is, and the other one right about here. the glasses kind of help me with determining this distance here between the glasses and then up here pretty much a straight line almost from behind the ear into here Now he's the way that the original photo, those glasses are coming off a little bit more, but the way that I've drawn his face, I think is slightly different angle. So I won't be able to get quite as much. Otherwise this would look really big and this glass is gonna look a little bit too small. So I wanna try to, I have to kind of cut this in, in fact, even a little bit. Okay, so let's, uh, I've got the basics of my drawing in place. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sharpen my this here. I'm actually gonna come in and quickly get some of the glasses, this shaping, because this is pretty important. Sounds like our daughter's having quite the time upstairs. Okay. So the, the trick with glasses is just trying to get that symmetry and trying to get the same shape. And glasses are, you know, um, all sorts of different kinds of shapes. So you really have to kind of look carefully to see if you can nail the, the basic shape. Obviously these are white frames, or the frames are kind of silver. I'm just quickly sketching this in. I'm not gonna do all the details, all these little screws.
If you found anything we've done today helpful, you know, a small donation by PayPal is certainly appreciated. Uh, links to that are below. At the very least, we'd be grateful if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, liking any other videos that you've seen in the past. You can also share this with your friends and family. So all of these hairs, you can have a lot of fun. I like this cool haircut. Come back here. I'm just, you can see, I want to try to develop as much as possible. So I always kind of float around the picture. Um, technically, you could see how these glasses you see how they kind of uh, they they change the shape of the face just a little bit. They're a little bit. They make that eye look maybe a little bit smaller. So, let's see if we can incorporate a little bit of this. Okay, let's uh, move on to the nose here. We'll draw this nose ring in quickly. lips just make them a little bit bigger here Just gonna expand his chin just a bit again. Same thing here, just get a little bit of the shading on his face. And 
And just like Heidi's drawing here, we can come in and kind of get a little bit of the shadow of these glasses on his face. eyebrows a bit and then I think I'm gonna call it a day you kind of get the idea right I think I need to make these eyes darker for sure Um, okay, well, you know, I could keep on shading and getting all the details and do the hair and, um, which I, actually the hair would be, I'll do maybe, okay, I'll do just a couple quick little bits here of hair. continuing the same kind of spiraling motif that I had previously just incorporate it into the rest of the hair okay okay I feel pretty good about this as I said I could keep on going but for Quick little sketch. Oh, I forgot these lips. Got to keep on squinting my eyes there to see what I'm missing. Okay. So, um, I feel pretty good about that. Just kind of using our, our basic strategies to make another quick drawing so thank you everybody for watching another one of these episodes thursday or next episode coming up number 26 which would be stream number 73 i think we're like five months of doing this will be uh i think probably the most fun one in recent memory that i can think of because then we're really going to have some fun we're going to really play around um, so until then, if I was you, I would try practicing a few of these kind of drawings, just, just challenge yourself by trying to draw from a whole bunch of different angles like this. And I think that would be great experience. If you want to try doing a few from a, you know, like developing from a photograph, I think that would be great as well. Um, Otherwise, uh, enjoy the, the next couple days, and then we'll see you same time, same place. 
Um, maybe even think about looking for some caricatures in magazines like political cartoons of your favorite or your least favorite politician and kind of keep those in mind, looking out for different styles of different artists or, or cartoonists that you like and see if we can incorporate those styles into uh, the next drawing. Okay, everybody, so I will be bidding you adieu and oh, let's go to there and have yourself a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching.